What's going on, Fight Fans? It's your boy c up with the Standing 8 Count Boxing. Tonight, we're focusing in on the heavyweight division and the upcoming fight between Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder and Robert the Nordic Nightmare Hellenius. Now, this is going to be a very interesting matchup, and the reason why I say interesting is because we know the styles make fights. Well, these two fighters have very, very similar styles. They're both orthodox, both very flat-footed, um, very strong punchers, not the most uh, elusive, not the slickest fighters, yet at the same time, they can end their opponent's night uh, rather quickly if given the opportunity. Um, the difference is Deontay Wilder, he possesses what is arguably one of the best uh, right hands in the heavyweight division, if not the if not the best right hand in the sport of boxing today. Um, Robert Hellenius, on the other hand, he has the ability to go the distance um, without getting with, with without putting himself uh, in harm's way. He's a very defensive fighter. Um, like I said earlier, he's not the slickest, um, but he does exhibit some head movement, but it's usually only when he feels threatened. Once he feels threatened, then he'll use what uh, Roy Jones used to call back in the day. Uh, uh, he'll make a boxing move. He'll, he'll, he'll try to slip a jab, uh, maybe duck here and there, uh, maybe show a little bit of footwork, but nothing too much. For the most part, he's going to stand right in front of his opponent and trade punches with him. Now, that's going to be something uh, that, that is right up Deontay Wilder's alley. We, we know uh, from his long resume of one-punch knockout outs um that you know that's not something that you necessarily want to do and consider yourself uh um to put to consider yourself uh to be in the position for success against somebody um with the knockout power of a Deontay Wilder now it's been a while since we've seen the bronze bomber um we haven't seen Deontay Wilder since his last, uh, since his disappointing loss uh, against Tyson Fury last year. Uh, now, since then, he's been laying low. He reported, uh, he did an interview, excuse me, with uh, ESPN.com uh, yesterday. Uh, and he just said that he's just been, you know, kind of hanging out with his family, um, taking family vacations, you know, going to amusement parks. Uh, and he's, he was even toying with the idea for a while, <clears throat> excuse me, um, of uh, hanging up the gloves and uh, maybe going ahead and retiring. But uh, it wasn't until he was awarded his bronze statue um, in his hometown of Tuscaloosa, Alabama, that he decided that he was going to lace him back up and give us a few more rounds. So uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, what Deontay Wilder, uh, is going to bring to the table this Saturday night. Now, um, the energy I, I was I, the energy surrounding this fight is is not what you would come to expect from a Deontay Wilder uh, 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 fight, um, especially the ones with Tyson Fury. You know, there's not a lot of back and forth between him and Hellenius. Uh, everything has been really respectful, really cordial, and I think that's because they're longtime sparring partners. You know, they sparred with each other for years, especially while uh, uh, Wilder was training for uh, for his fights with with Tyson Fury. Um, even even the even the uh, pre fight press conference stare down uh, was they you know they just kind of uh, you could tell it was mainly just for just for the for the media's sake. They kind of slaps you know some, gave each other some dap, you know, kind of hugged it out, wished each other luck took a couple a couple more photos and, and you know chuck the deuces so um there's a lot of mutual respect there between these two fighters now that being said um come fight night Deontay Wilder he's going to really have to put on a show like I said this is a tune-up fight Deontay Wilder he hasn't been in the in the, in the ring uh in over a year <clears throat> This is just a tune-up fight, and there's no reason under the sun um, with this type of fighter uh, that Robert Hellenius is that Deontay Wilder shouldn't blow this guy right out of the ring. Um, I, I personally, my prediction is that Deontay Wilder uh, ends this fight uh, in in less than four, in three rounds. Let's just call it in three rounds. You know, um, there's no reason under the sun why why he can't make that happen. Uh, Hellenius is not is not very elusive at all. He's not going to slip any type, anything that Deontay Wilder, uh, that he throws, um, and Deontay Wilder, his timing and, and his power is eventually just going to catch him and, and he's going to end his night. That's just my prediction. Um, but Deontay Wilder, he honestly, he has no choice but to execute uh, a, a knockout come Saturday night because that's what the world wants to see. If Deontay Wilder, if he expects to still be in the conversation uh, when it comes to getting some of these bigger fights uh, in the future, if he still wants to climb up the uh, uh, uh 
up the rankings and 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 reclaim his championship, then that's the that's the type of performance that that he's going to have to exhibit come this Saturday night, and it can't be anything less. There's because if if Helene because Helenius can go the distance, and if if Deontay Wilder is unsuccessful uh, in an early round knockout, and it does start to get into the later rounds, where well, we all know that Deontay Wilder he does have the uh, um, capability, he does have the, the 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 propensity to tire himself out. And then he says that he he gets hit with a lot of shots that he shouldn't that he shouldn't, and we we all saw how the, how that could end up. Um, but I, hopefully that doesn't happen. But this is boxing; anything can happen. Um, but I'm interested to see what you guys have to say. Um, let me know. Drop the comments in the comments section. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Smash that bell icon for all future notifications. As always, it's your boy Cedo with the standing eight count, standing eight count boxing. I want to thank y'all for rocking with me. Until next time, peace.